I'm gonna show you how to print for your rare is always gonna be put on the table with the bar down, not the roller part down. That is because the roller one either has ink on it, it's gonna get all over the place, and the more you put it down that way, the more that it will flatten out the rubber um, barrel and ruin the brayer. So we always put it with the bar down. You're gonna have a tray for putting your ink on and rolling out your ink. You're gonna have a baron for, um, for printing with, and you're gonna have ink, you have scrap paper, and you are working on some type of um, covered surface. I also have plexiglass that you are gonna be able to work on. So you are going to put your ink out. You wanna make sure you don't have too much ink About that much is probably a good start. So like a thumb, a finger size, like the top of a finger. Um, before I roll it out, I want us to do one thing. This is gonna be your plate. By rolling out my ink, your ink should not be all squishy and slidey. You wanna make sure that you have, don't have too much ink. You have just enough ink that your brayer is completely covered. Like right there, it's not covered well enough. You wanna have an even coat and you want it to have that tacky, sticky sound, like that click, click sound. Make sure it's evenly coated on your brayer. It's probably good. If you have too much ink, you're gonna take a scrap piece of paper and you'll know if you have too much, it's gonna slip and slide and you're gonna roll it out a little bit. This is called charging the brayer. Now I am going to Put the ink on the plate. Take your brayer, put it down so that the bar is down, away from where you're printing. And you're going to, now you don't wanna get a mess all over. So if your area is really messy, you may wanna just slide this out and have something clean underneath it. Now, corner, so I'm gonna place my piece. And, I'm gonna hold it with one hand so that it doesn't slide around. It's very important or your print is not gonna come out. And you're going to burnish it, which is really just rubbing over it so that it prints. You can lift it slightly and it's working. Okay, there's my first clean. Our tray is gonna get cleaned. Our garbage is gonna get thrown out. Anything that has might have ink on it gets cleaned. And you're going to take your prints. After you've signed, you're gonna sign the bottom right-hand corner as you're doing them neatly. I don't have a pencil handy, I only have this. But you're gonna sign the bottom right corner and you're going to bring them over to the drying rack and put them over there. Make sure your name is on them or we're not gonna know whose is whose. I'm gonna do one more printing. I wanna show you, I'm gonna make a card out of this one. So I'm gonna add some ink. Got a little bit too much ink in the center, so I need to move it around a lot. Now I'm going to take my plate I don't want, because I'm gonna do it on a card, I don't want my card to get all dirty, so I'm gonna put down a piece of scrap paper underneath. Whoops, I'm gonna put down a piece of scrap paper underneath, and I'm gonna lay my plate on that. Hopefully, I will keep things from getting really messy. And I'm gonna lay my card, I'm gonna try to do it in the center if I can. I'm gonna lay my card, my card's actually folded, and I'm going to, Now, if this was dirty, I would have a whole bunch of ink on the inside. So you have to make sure everything's clean as you're doing it. Now I have an actual card that I can use. 
I wanted to show you, as you could see, I also printed it on another piece of paper. It's actually an old, from an old book that I cut up and I printed right on top of that book. So I have a design underneath everything else that's going on.